When we have our heart's desire and focus on it, to bring it to fruition, and you're talking about everything being in escrow, how does universe line things up? And is there a predetermined course? How does the lining things up work when everyone has free will? Oh, I think you're really going to enjoy this because the lining up is so huge and there are so many options that it would be like you being a child or, or an adult and saying to someone, I'm hungry, and 5,000 complete meals appearing before you instantaneously. In other words, that's a sort, that sort of gives you some sense of relationship to how fast it is and how many options there are. And this is our way of saying to you that it's not a straight and narrow path that you must make your way to. In other words, when you achieve vibrational alignment with your well-being, around every corner is a potential satisfying of something that you want, literally. And the reason that the universe is able to do that is because there are so many players, there is so much data, there is so much interaction, there has been so much already expansion. In other words, the ingredients are already here. And so it is another way we like to say it is when you ask for something, say you're asking for a relationship immediately, at least a hundred avenues to lead you directly to what your heart's desire would feel satisfied having are before you instantly at least a hundred options but if you're not in vibrational alignment with them there might not there might, might as well not be any in other words it it's like it's like your friend saying oh I heard the most beautiful music being played from my radio all morning long I had my radio dial set on 98.6 and it was rapturous and you said I didn't hear it did you have your radio dial set on 98.6 no so if you're tuned up if you're in alignment with what you want then it's there 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 it's about vibrational alignment so your question is how does the universe do this is it already there it's not a matter of some kind of magic happening and it lines up and appears or everything is already present it's just a matter of us vibrationally matching to what is already present by the time you were able to identify it in thought as a desire it's done if you can think it the components are here and you can realize it as quickly as you line up with them how does free will affect that when other people are involved and they have choices and they're making choices out of their fears and false beliefs well when you interject what you think they think into your vibration your vibration comes becomes cluttered in other words when it, if you say I want the, I want a prize the universe says very well we will line up endless opportunities for you to have your prize and when you say but there is only one prize the universe says very well we will make it very difficult for you <laughs> and when you say there is only one prize and I think that person will get it the universe says very well it will not be yours your thoughts happen but when you say there is no shortage of prizes the universe says then pluck from those that please you they are everywhere around you when you say but I am the only worthy one and no one else is worthy the universe says well depends upon how they feel about them not how you feel about them in other words um, your every thought affects your vibration but that's all that affects your vibration and your vibration is the only thing that ever affects your outcome I think a long time ago on one of the tapes I heard uh, it was a great word picture for me about it's like the Maytag repairman is sitting up there on the other side drumming his fingers just hoping and waiting for us to turn something over and allow it universe to line things up and make them happen well the so. universe is not ever feeling impatience on your behalf or boredom in other words because every time you launch a preference the universe has gone to work on fulfilling your preference and has taken great satisfaction in doing so in other words all of your future worlds have been envisioned and enjoyed by all that is non-physical that's why it's in escrow ready for you to let it into your experience Just Wayne Dyer's book says you will see it when you believe it and we say to you 
test the heck out of it in other words make yourself believe it show yourself think thoughts and watch them manifest think other thoughts in other words notice the correlation between what you think and feel and what happens it's accurate every single time adjust the way you feel watch what happens it's accurate every single time but what's tricky about this is and we keep coming back around to this here today it's wonderful awareness is that if I stand here and I want to be over there and I say I'm willing to do anything it takes to get over there I've got a resistance within my vibration because of my inherent dissatisfaction with where I am where if I say it's lovely over here and it would be lovely over there now I've softened that resistance as I say from my lovely vantage point where I feel blessed and worthy I'm looking forward to more evidence of my blessedness and worthiness now you've got the whole gamut covered in other words can you feel how how that just cleaned everything up you see but as you play with each other and you feel competition and you worry about how much abundance there is Esther has been enjoying coming to the realization that there is not a shortage of anything and she has that just about figured out with re relative to everything except shortage of time or she will say it feels to me like there's a shortage of Esther in other words there's not enough of Esther to go all of the places that everybody would like Esther would to be um, people will call and say please a telephone consultation and Esther will say well, we haven't done that in a long time we just ran out of time and they will say just one please just one and Esther said well I, that's how I got myself into that bind to begin with in other words just one more just one more just one more just one more and then we explain to Jerry and Esther that when you are thinking about budgeting your dollars you have flexibility in the sense that you can pay attention to the way the dollars are flowing out and you have some measure of control but you can also open the vortex through which the dollars come in and then you have an even broader measure of control so when you realize that you're tapped into the abundance of dollars or to the abundance of abundance then you don't have to worry about shortage because it flows in as fast as it flows out but then Esther said but what about time it seems like time can't expand like dollars she said I can see how my my dollars could expand so that I don't feel shortage as I'm expending but with time we all only have the same 24 hours in a day and if we only have this so all I can do is be responsible about the way I spend that time because if I spend it over here I don't have it to spend over there and we say but when you are determined to feel joy in any moment that you are spending it then in the same way that you have taken dollars out of the equation now you have taken time out of the equation and when you take things like dollars and time out of the equation then you begin to take shortage out of the equation then you begin to take limitation out of the equation then you begin to expect somehow some way whatever you want to manifest and that's when the distance between your dream and the realization of it becomes infin infinitesimal and that's when you say well it's like magic and we say it isn't magic it's normal because I think many of us have all our desires and it we can see them orbiting around us and there's sort of a force field between us and it that keeps it away and I think it's what you were just saying well, when you as think you about it you're not wanting to eat all of your food now you want to eat some now and savor and all the and you're not wanting to have all of your orgasms now you're not <laughs> you're, you're not you're not wanting to have all of the delicious experience of life now you want you're wanting a steady stream of it flowing into your experience and so those things that are orbiting around that's like that's like circling the city looking for a place to eat and feeling frustrated about all the places you're not eating you don't do that you just stop and eat someplace and the same thing is true of all of these desires you don't have time to contemplate them all at once or to experience them all at once in other words whatever you're doing if what you are doing feels good while you're doing it then what possible difference does it make about all of the things you're not doing see and once you sort of get that once you start savoring whatever is happening now and no longer are worrying about the things that you're not able to do now then you get it sometimes we know if you're doing something you don't want to do 
and then you say well I'd rather do that that's where that thinking comes from but when you've trained yourself to make the best of whatever it is that you are doing then that gap closes and then you just go from this fun thing to this fun thing to this satisfying thing to this interesting thing to this provocative thing to this good feeling to this good tasting to this good feeling to this good tasting to this interesting thing you just move from subject to subject feeling good all the time and somebody watching you would say my goodness how how is it that you have such a broad spectrum of life and you say well I just dabble in all of the good stuff of life and in time you will not be able to remember ever doing something that you didn't really enjoy doing Esther will say the only thing that ever bothers me is the stuff I can't get to and we say now that is shortage consciousness because what that saying is there's not enough of me to go around or there's not enough time for me to do it all and that's shooting yourself in the foot because when you're in that vibration then whatever you're doing can't be pleasurable either you see but when you finally start saying things to yourself like I can't get it all done I'll never get it all created I will never get it all achieved and I wasn't supposed to do that anyway my mission as a creator is to let the juices flow through me and to enjoy the thrill of the feeling of the juices flowing through me and sure they're gonna cause creation sure they're gonna cause expansion sure things are gonna move sure things are gonna change sure the world is gonna get better and I'm gonna have a better life but that's not the reason I'm doing them the reason my object of attention exist at all is because as I hold my object of attention I have the opportunity to feel good as creative juices flow through me in the creation process the creation process the eternal process of creation so how do I find my balance in it well I just listen to Magellan and I reach for what feels good and I can feel when I'm on my path and when I it doesn't feel so good I I veer to where it feels better and when it doesn't feel so good I veer toward where it feels better in other words I just keep reaching for the thoughts and ideas that feel good and when I find one that feels good I just milk it I tell everyone about it I roll it over and over and over in my mind until I achieve enough vibrational harmony with it that law of attraction brings me other thoughts like it I think that what happens to so many of you is that somewhere along your path someone has convinced you that you are unworthy on your way to worthiness and that's a hurdle you can't get over you cannot you cannot jump that hurdle when you say I'm unworthy that's like saying I'm on 98.6 seeking 101 FM you cannot get there from there so you say well how do I get there we say you gotta try to feel worthy I can't feel worthy I felt unworthy for so long we say alright then try feeling happy no I can't feel happy I feel too unworthy to feel happy Said, then, then try feeling interested in something oh yeah I could feel interested I could feel interested this is interesting I feel unworthy about it though <laughs> in other words you just keep reaching you just keep reaching for and that the operative word is reaching for the feeling of relief